Hi, this is John Wright. I'd like to have a, an introductory look at importing graphics into Embroidery Studio. You can import vector files or any sort of raster files. So there's a couple of ways to do it. From the file menu, you can import embroidery, import graphic, or you can scan an image. So I've just looked in the bitmap directory, you just simply collect it, uh, select it and it drops it straight on the screen for, for you. So I'll delete that one and I'll show you an alternative method because we have a shortcut key in the toolbar at the top it takes you to the same place so I'll just select another one you can see in that list there there are JPEGs and bitmaps so not a problem so that's dropped it straight on the screen there you can see the handles have appeared around the rows so we can drag it and resize it that way um, I'll just pull the properties bar up and just drop it into place down the bottom here now with the row selected I can see that the the design is 133.79 millimeters wide and 118.55 high. So we can actually select either one of the measurements and change it, and I'll change proportionally, hit enter, and that's resized the rows. So an alternative method to do that is to go into our transform toolbar, uh, select uh, transform, special transform, I think it was. Click two points on the on the object, and then resize it that that between those two points to the nominated size there. Now the next thing that you would want to do is to lock the image in place. The last thing you want to happen is for the image to move around while you're digitizing, and you can see in our color object list a little black lock is beside the image. Now you can lock any object in the embroidery embroidery file, any embroidery object or image at all. And you can unlock it under the Arrange menu. Shift K is the keyboard shortcut. And you can see the back box disappeared. Select it again. And you can see that the shortcut to lock it is K. So I'll just select it, hit K on the keyboard, and the image is locked, ready for digitizing.